it is a typical rib third to ninth ribs are typical rib because they have common feature we can see it has sternal end and vertebral end sternal end is lower than vertebral end it bears a concave impression to receives its own costal cartilage it receives its own costal cartilage by costochondral joint and this is a primary cartilaginous joint now it is vertebral end it includes head head neck and tubercle head has two facets upper upper smaller facet and lower larger facet two facets are uh, articulating with the body of vertebra so lower facet is large and articulates with the numerically corresponding vertebra and upper smaller facet articulates with the preceding vertebra crest of the head it is crest crest is separated uh, with the two facets now crest of the head is connected to the intercost in uh, inter uh, vertebral disc by the intra articular ligament so it uh, we can see the vertebra it is vertebra now it is a typical rib of right side so uh, two facets articular to the body and it is superior uh, costal demi facet inferior costal demi facet so this head articulates with the body like this like this and uh, two uh, two vertebra vertebra between are intervertebral disc and these uh, crest articulates with the intervertebral disc like like this intervertebral disc crest articulates with the intervertebral disc now um, the crest articulates with the intervertebral is by intra articular ligament peripheral margin this is a peripheral margin of the head gives attachment the capsular ligament of the synovial costovertebral joint okay now tubercle has two facet okay now you can see two facet and uh, it has uh, non uh, it has articular facet and medial articular facet and lateral non articular facet okay so uh, medial articular facet articulates with the corresponding vertebra vertebra costo uh, costo uh, with the corresponding vertebra uh, by the transverse process transverse process, uh, uh, transverse process and by the costo transverse joint <coughs> this is plain type of synovial joint and this uh, this uh, lateral uh, lateral uh, non articular facet articulates with the with the tip of corresponding vertebra by costo translateral costo transverse joint this all joints are uh, plain type of synovial joint now it is a neck neck uh, neck uh, it is a ridge faint ridge of neck upper it is a upper uh, smaller area it is a lower larger area and it includes many uh, membrane intercostal membrane fibro fatty tissue upper area is separated from the intercostal membrane by fibro fatty tissue and lower area is covered by the costal pleura and in the in intervening endothoracic fascia posterior surface is rough you can touch and uh, you can see that posterior surface is so rough and it is connected with the transverse process of the corresponding vertebra by costo transverse ligament upper border of the neck forms a crest it is a crest upper border of the neck forms a crest and uh, um, it articulates with the vertebra by superior costo transverse ligament extending for the transverse process of upper vertebra okay now it uh, um, we can see the rib articulates with the corresponding vertebra so the crest of the neck articulates with the upper vertebra not corresponding vertebra the lower border of the neck is rounded and laterally continuous to the costal groove 
it is a coastal group and it has upper lip floor and lower lip or you can um, tell this outer lip upper lip floor and lower lip okay it has muscle it has um, muscle like posterior uh, uh, it has a neurovascular plane like uh, posterior intercostal vein posterior intercostal artery posterior intercostal nerve we can see inferior border a coastal group only typical rib has a coastal group and it has in the, uh, inferior border in inferior border we can see um, you can see sternal end vertebral end upper border lower border anterior surface posterior surface and inferior border it has a coastal group now it has neurovascular plane posterior intercostal nerve posterior intercostal artery posterior intercostal vein we can uh, remember it by van it means vein artery nerve and upper lip it has intercostal is intimus muscle floor it has intercostal is um, internus and lower lip it has intercostal is externus that means upper lip it has intercostal is intimus floor it has intercostal is internus and lower lip it has intercostal is externus now uh, close to the angle close to the angle it has a ridge and it has some muscles some muscles uh, upper <coughs> eight ribs uh, eight ribs it has external oblique anterior angle it has it it is anterior angle and it has a external oblique in front from the serratus anterior behind in upper eight ribs it means upper eight ribs muscles are serratus anterior and lower three or four ribs it has latissimus dorsi okay now uh, it has also a ridge it is also a ridge um, like uh, um, external surface external surface has reach gives attachment to the posterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia and iliocostalis thoracis the distance between tubercle it is tubercle and angle it is angle increases increases second to 10 rib is about 5 centimeter the area attachment to the levator costi that means this distance attachment to the levator costi okay now we can see the uh, whole rib can attach to the um, vertebra and uh, this uh, lower uh, lower facet articulates with the body of corresponding vertebra upper facet articulates with the preceding vertebra and uh, neck neck join the vertebra but the vertebra the transverse process of vertebra um, can stay beside from the neck of the rib and this tubercle tubercle has two facets lower lower facet and lower articular facet and upper non-articular facet and these two facets articulate with the transverse process of vertebra so it has costochondral joint and this is primary cartilages and all joints are uh, synovial plain type of synovial joints and it is morphologically a uh, flat bone flat bone and ossification intracartilaginous joint